Hmm. Huh? Hey! Bunch up, gang. Let's make this year's family photo perfect. How perfect can it be when we have this litter box reject ruining the shot? Mr. Cat is an important part of this family. Millie's right, Coop. Try to think of Cat as a bald, younger brother with creepy eyes and a rat tail. <laughs> okay, everyone. Say bananas! <laughs> bananas! Hey! And we are looking... Ugh. Well, it could be worse. I just don't know how. I'm tired of that cat making me look like a fool, Dennis. It's time he learned his lesson. Okay, I rope him with the lasso and you shove him in the box. Then we mail him to Siberia. Right. Um, just one thing. Where is he? What? He's got to be around here somewhere. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! allergies <laughs> oh right <clears throat> you know we read in school that you can develop new allergies almost overnight overnight Dennis gee I wonder what type of thing or animal can cause a person to get allergies hmm <laughs> <laughs> No time. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I think you missed a spot. Thanks, son. Can't be too careful with allergies. It had to be the dander suppressing powder, would you? <laughs> uh, Millie, could you please take Mr. Cat into the living room? You're not getting rid of Mr. Cat, are you, Daddy? Oh, I wouldn't do that, sweetheart. Are you sure? Because I'd be happy to find him a good home. I'm sure. All we have to do is bathe, powder, and spray Cat six times a day for the rest of his life, and I'll be right as ra 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be in the shower. Dennis, I've got no choice. It's time for level red rash. Poison Ivy? Don't you think you've tortured your dad enough? We all have to make sacrifices to rid the world of evil. Cat evil. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Ah, 
nothing like an invigorating shower. I feel better than I felt in days. You're sure you're not itchy? No rash? No uncontrollable desperate urge to scratch everywhere? Nope, I feel fit as a fiddle. Hey, did you mark a page in this allergy book? The worst allergies are those to family members, especially sons. The only cure is to send them away, far, far away. <laughs> Sounds a little extreme to me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm allergic to cat, not you. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about, kiddo. <laughs> I don't understand. Cats know where I'm at. <laughs> Must find tissue. Come on, Dad. Okay, sport. Let's play cat. <laughs> Sorry, son. Maybe another time. <laughs> Sleep tight, sport. <laughs> oh, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, no. Son, it's true. I'm not allergic to cat. I'm allergic to you. <laughs> the classic backfire. Oh, that creepy cat is smarter than I thought. This stinks. Now my dad is totally afraid to do anything with me. Oh, you're just overreacting. Lunch time, Coop. Am I? Meet the Extendo Dad. Uh, whoops. Uh. Eat up, pal. <laughs> huh, that's a good question, Coop. Hold it up so I can see it. Here. Well, the answer is either five or Africa. If you need any more help with your math homework, just ask, son. Sure, Dad. Nighty night, Daddy. Sweet dreams, honey. Huh. Good night, Dad. Oh, hang on. <laughs> good night, son. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I'm glad you called. My allergies are really bad. Yes, I know it's extreme, but we all have to make sacrifices. I really need to keep Coop away from me. Okay, thank you, Aunt Beatrice. <gasps> uh, just, uh, ordering a pizza for breakfast. <laughs> oh. I can't believe Dad's gonna send me to live with Weird Aunt Beatrix. I'll be condemned to a life of doilies, cottage cheese, and daytime soap operas. <laughs> that follically challenged ferret isn't gonna dispose of me like a furball. If I'm going, he's going with me. <laughs> 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 I found the perfect solution. A pressurized hypoallergenic bubble suit. I had to trade a moose head, a wicker chair, and a washer dryer to get it from Aunt Beatrix, but it was worth it. So, you're not gonna send me away? <laughs> I don't know where you get these ideas, Coop. <sighs> That's a relief. Yeah, things are finally gonna be back to normal around here. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat it, buddy. It's just gonna take a couple of weeks, months, maybe years to get used to. <laughs> that does it, you buzzless freak! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! That's enough now! Families don't fight like this! He's not family, he's dead meat! Uh oh. Oh, no!
I can breathe without sneezing. Oh, no. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. This replacement family photo is gonna be perfect. I can feel it. Looking good. Come on, everyone. Let's make some magic. One, two, three. Bananas! <laughs> Hello, boys and ghouls. Ghastly graves on the streets of Bootsville. Talking to trick-or-treaters. And who do we have here? I am the CEO of Phoebe Mark a multi-billion dollar corporation. My mom helped me with my briefcase and quarterly report. Boring! And who might you be, little fella? Uh, I'm Quasi... Quasar... He's Quasimodo. And I'm his hump. Dad! Halloween started without me! Almost done, Coop! I like being a cyborg. Except it's kind of hot. It's a little hard to move and... And see. So, take off the helmet for a bit? It's kind of a tight fit. It's stuck on your head, isn't it? Uh-huh. All set, Captain! Thanks, Dad! Daddy, have you seen Mr. Cat? I need to spray paint him black. I can't be a witch without a black cat. Uh, you know, honey, I don't think black is Mr. Cat's color. <laughs> when fear and darkness rule the day, Captain Blasteroid is on the way! Trick or treat time! Actually, son, I think you're finally old enough to trick or treat without me. Cool! That means Daddy's all mine tonight! Double cool! Nope, your big brother's gonna take you out this year, Millie! I can't drag my baby sister along with me. <laughs> I don't want to go with saggy pants, Coop. It's a father-daughter tradition that's very precious to me. Well, if that's what you both want. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Luckily, I've got all my old costumes. How about Dracula? Seen it. Frankenstein? Been there. The Wolfman? Did that. But you've never seen Baron Von Wolf Dragonstein! Maybe I should go with Coop, Daddy. Ah, don't be silly. I'm raring to go. But I can't find Mr. Cat or my certified genuine fake ruby necklace. Everyone knows witches get their power from rubies. They do? Okay, then. We'll take another look upstairs, sweetie. Have fun, boys! Let no house go untrick or treated! <sighs> Hold on. I'm not going up there. What happened to let no house go on trick or treat it? Except that one. Come on. Ow! Whoops. <clears throat> Sorry. That ought to do the trick for the treats. <laughs> ah, here comes a test customer now. Houston, we have candy. Okay, Millie, we better go. What about my ruby necklace? What about a sack full of mouth-watering, tooth-destroying candy? Good point. Let's roll. <laughs> Uh, I've got a great idea, honey. Why don't we leave the scariest houses for last? Like this one. Oh, Daddy. Trick or treat. Oh, Millie, don't you look adorable. Aren't you a little old to be trick or treating, Burton Burger? <laughs> Guess I'm just a big kid at heart, old la uh, Mrs. Munson. <sighs> Thank you, Mrs. Munson. Trick or treat! Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Candy jackpot. Well, we wouldn't have had to come back if you hadn't 
stepped on my cape a hundred million times. Jenny Jackpot! Jenny Dispensomatic is a hit. Let's go in the back. Emergencies? My mom uses a stapler. That's a great idea, Cyborg Boy! Ah! Huh? Did you see that? You're kidding, right? Either our garbage is taking itself out, or Cat is up to something big. Whoa! Why can't we just for once forget about Cat? And maybe because there's a giant laser beam shooting across town from the roof of my house? Like, I'm gonna fall for that old joke. Boop! <laughs> no! Ugh. Hey! I was here first! <laughs> what a lame robot costume. Oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a treat for you that I want a trick from you, big fella. Well, uh, uh... Really? Have you seen a trash can come by? You just missed it. It went that way. We lost him. We'll just have to follow the laser beam. You follow the laser beam. I'll follow the candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is? Cheap skates! Time to go, bro. <laughs> Did the widow babies not get any candy, Wendy? <laughs> you greedy Halloweeny! Maybe this is just a wild robot trash can goose cat chase. Relax! It's just a super creepy graveyard that any kid with half a brain would avoid. Let's go! <laughs> oh. Ha! Harl! They missed a stick of gum! Thank you very much. What the heck's that on the roof? Some sort of Halloween prank? <laughs> Portal to another dimension or something just opened. Like in Captain Blasteroid rides the rocket range. Only this one isn't quite as realistic. Yeah, I'll take their word for it. Cat's giving them fishy frisky bits. He's planning dinner. Or an invasion. Or an invasion of dinner guests. Oh, I miss everything. We can't take a chance. We need to ask ourselves. WWCBD. What would Captain Blasteroid do? Captain Blasteroid would stop them from getting that food and shut down that portal. Not so fast, my furless friends! Ah! 
to swing it around and change the trajectory. What's this do? Um, it fires a balloon. <laughs> no! Don't touch that! Yeah, <laughs> that was... Close! Uh-oh. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Why, Colonel Carpet Stink? You're so light on your feet. Oh, no, 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 no. Old lady Mun I mean Mrs. Munson. Coop's very, very sorry. If that boy or anything belonging to him trespasses on my property, you will both be sorry! <laughs> I gotta get rid of that cat, Dennis, no matter what it takes. Hey! What was that? Cat. Right on schedule. Okay, let's review the plan. Tonight, we sleep in the tent alone. Cat won't be able to resist attacking. And that's a good thing? Are you kidding? It's great! Well, he's attacking our dummy. We'll bag him and trade him in for a nice, quiet puppy. Or a monkey. <laughs> yeah, there he is! <laughs> ah, we're surrounded! He's brought reinforcements! <laughs> Overgrown squirrels! <laughs> uh, they're not so tough. Besides, we got enough candy and juice to keep us awake all night. What are you doing in my yard? I was just going to ask you the same question. But how did... <laughs> Can I use your bathroom? I didn't think so. Bye, Coop! And not a deal with you, Burton Burger! Uh, you little... <laughs> Burton Burger! I want every single...
the petunia replaced that your hooligan son trampled with his tent. You gotta believe me, Dad. It was Millie's cat. No excuses, Coop. You've got to stay away from old lady Munson. Time for our tea party, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Out of tea. Be right back. Mind you, when I was your age, I couldn't stay out of old Lady Munson's hair either. I remember once I crashed my kite right through her kitchen window, and she came at me like. No wonder you can't keep that boy under control. You're as big a juvenile delinquent as he is. <laughs> No wonder I still see her in my nightmares. Don't you dare! <laughs> And I know the only way to deal with a bad apple is to crush it into applesauce. Yeah, how nutritious. I think I've got it fixed, Mrs. Munson. Then hurry up and bring it inside. <laughs> okay, Dennis, hold this while I lay the bait. Wait! Just to be sure. may cause erratic or violent behavior in some cats. What does erratic mean? Why do I have to fix the bird bath you broke? Mrs. Munson says to be sure to wash behind Tinkly Winkle Toe's ears. Fine. And use a sponge. The scrubber chafes. Why won't you believe me that Millie's cat did it? You can't blame Millie's cat for everything, son. It's time you took responsibility. You're right, Dad. I'll be right back. Old Lady Munson's yard now. <gasps> Mr. Cat! Dad! Dad! Daddy! Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Not the dogs! What? What? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Jackson doesn't like being held upside down. Coming, Mrs. Munson. Both Burton Burgers! Bye, Coop. One lump or two, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Looks like one lump to me. <laughs> It has come to my attention that Cat needs a proper bed of his own. But why? He can sleep anywhere. Oh, and he does. Probably sleep on a bed of nails. Oh, one bed of nails coming right up. I have something a little more practical in mind. Ooh, a cat bed. <laughs> Mr. Cat needs something soft to sleep on. Here you go, Mr. Cat. Oh, he likes it, he likes it. He's so cute. Uh, where'd you get that blanket? I found it in a shoebox on the top shelf at the back of your closet behind a sign that said, Keep out, Millie. I'm serious. Yeah! Here's your bubba <laughs> blanket. <laughs> Nighty night, baby Coop. <laughs> Give me back my blanket! <laughs> I thought we put your baby blankie away the day you started kindergarten. And I took it back the day after I started kindergarten. <laughs> I get kind of stressed out. You're too old for that thing. It's musty and... <sighs> hey, you! Better put this in the wash before the neighbors start complaining. This 
racket ends now. I went to the pet store and got that cat a new voice-activated collar. Oh, this looks good. Tough love for tough toms. 9,000 volts of corrective discipline per charge. The cat will prod 9,000. <laughs> we want a correct cat, not cook him. This is what we got. <laughs> Mind your P's and Q's, corrective collar guides your pet with firm yet gentle suggestion. <laughs> there. Now, we just put it on the cat setting. Now, now, pussycat. That behavior is most inappropriate. <laughs> Quiet, please. There's a good kitty. Can't we get one that'll give him a good jolt, too? Just to be sure. <laughs> Proper pussycats speak only when spoken to. <laughs> and stop repeating everything I say. <laughs> No hissies! You heard her! No hissies! <laughs> There's a good kitty! I said no hissies, you hooligan! Someone should wash your mouth out with soup! Unhand me, you ruffian! Oh, oh, oh. My buckle is kitty proof! You leave me no alternative! <laughs> Hear that? You'll never get rid of that collar. Say bye-bye to Blinky. Don't even think about it. something? Uh, Why are you slouching? Sit up straight. Huh? Do you have something to say, Coop? Well, answer the lady. What? The caller! Shh, be quiet! Maybe you should go to the principal's office. Always listen to your teacher. Oh. <laughs> Even when her incompetence forces her to pass the buck to a higher authority. <laughs> <laughs> Class, one more word, young man, and you'll have a detention. But, but... No buts about it. You're in trouble now. <laughs> okay, that's it. If you all think this is so funny, you can all have detention. <laughs> it wasn't me. Now would be a good time to run. <laughs> You're not excused! <laughs> You certainly know how to make friends. <laughs> you! This is all because you took my blanket! Well, go ahead. He's asking for it. <laughs> it's a roundhouse right. Oh, and it's a punch! to the solar plexus, and a karate kick to the shin. 
Mutant like dirty. It's a battle for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. Give me my blanket. because I'm grounded now, aren't I? You think? Uh, here's your old collar, Mr. Cat. You don't have to listen to that nasty talking one anymore. No more constant nagging in your ear by some voice that goes on and on. And hey, you can sleep in my bed and I'll tell you stories all night. And we'll have marshmallows and hot boys. <laughs> This is a fine place to leave an expensive collar lying around. Anybody could find me. Please refrain from chewing on the furniture. He does do a lot of that. And I would not scratch that. It might get infected. Just what I always say. And do stop that licking. It's most unsanitary. Post. Mr. Cat is just expressing himself. Second breakfast, third lunch. Maybe it's time we took Mr. Cat to the vet to get his nails trimmed. He's never had a checkup, has he? You mean poking and prodding him with pointy needles and cold thermometers? Nope, but I like it. Won't he be scared, Daddy? Absolutely terrified. Oh, he'll love it, honey. It'll be like going to a kitty spa. If we survive getting him there. Leave that to us, Dad. <laughs> Dennis, Dad, get the cage ready! The door is stuck! Stole him! Stole him! That wasn't the plan! Incoming! Where's the cage? In here, sport! Okay, Mr. Cat, that mean coop can't scare you anymore. Me? Scare him? <laughs> if you can't keep that thing quiet, Rettenberger, I will. I know. I'll read Mr. Cat a nice story about happy kitties. Dog, dog, horse, gerbil, lemur, mongoose, aardvark. Ah! What does a kid have to do to get a cat? Story book around here! Oh, <laughs> okay, honey. Let's check over here. I'll tell him a little story. First, the doctor will say, this won't hurt a bit. But it will. And then he'll take you apart to check out every little bit of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burtonberger, uh, the doctor will see your, uh, cat now. Coming in with us, Dennis? Are you kidding? I don't want to be the one you open that carrier. Thank you. So sorry. Really very sorry. Emily, wait out here with Dennis. So, this scrappy fellow must be Mr. Cat. Whoa. Uh, cats are never very happy to see me at first, but then we become good friends. Right, Mr. Cat? There you are. Nicey, nicey. Huh, he's usually more feisty than that. This little fella knows I'm not gonna hurt him. Much. Uh, can't seem to locate any pupils, but that's nothing to worry about. Impressive teeth. Isn't there, like, a, an operation or something you could be doing? I'm sure we could find a, a bone saw or a rib spreader around here somewhere. Oh, Mr. Cat here's A-OK. -okay. Odd, I can't seem to find a heartbeat. I can't find a heart at all. <laughs> ah, there we are. Ooh, it's awfully fast. <laughs> I've never heard anything like it. And now it's normal. How 
Odd. You wanted his nails trimmed? Anything to make him a little less pointy. <laughs> no problem. If you could hold him. We'll try. <laughs> 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 Now this is more like it. Hmm, these clippers must be defective. Very strange. We'll have to use Big Bessie. She's got a tempered diamond blade. You hear that? Big Bessie's coming. Hmm, most interesting. I'd like to do a few more tests, if I may. Is something wrong, Doc? Oh, no, just being thorough. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> well, this is a new one, and that's, I don't know what that is. Oh, dear, I'm going to have to ask you to let me examine Mr. Cat in private. Hey, is there something we should know? And I said, get out! Nice, kitty. Just what are you hiding behind those whiskers? Is Mr. Cat all right, Daddy? No, oh, Mr. Cat's just fine, sweetie. I don't know about Mr. Vet. Looks like we're next, Growler. <laughs> You are such a good kitty. Yes, you are. Miss Twilliger. Mr. C Cat is a perfectly normal c c kitty. We don't need to bring him in for a checkup ever again. Never, 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 ever. Yes, Doctor. Mr. Burtonberger, it'll take a few hours to get the x-rays developed. We'll call you if we find anything abnormal there. <gasps> X-rays? <laughs> now we'll see what you really are. for you. Ugh, gross! But pretty cool.
Are you there? are now. Or at least what you aren't. And one day, so will everyone else. Hmm. Guess I don't have to practice piano anymore. Ask your dad if he'll let us put a fire pole here. Mm, I don't think he'd go for it. He's scared of fire. And poles. Well, what about a slide? Mm, maybe. Can it be a water slide? Why not? There'll be no danger of fire. Sensor, all clear. No stinky surprises in my slippers. Huh? No crushing avalanches in my closet. Yup, today is gonna be a trouble-free, cat-free day. No need to get discouraged, just a little water. Morning. You wore your pajamas in the shower? Yeah, they were dirty, so I figured I'd save time and water. Well, that's using the old <laughs> noggin. How do you kids want your eggs? Sunny side up! <laughs> I'll have mine with a side of cat. <laughs> Get down here, buddy! Whatever's broken, I didn't do it! Uh, no, no, son. You seem down lately, so I decided to give you a lift. It's a remote control helicopter! Whoa! You know, when I was your age, I had a balsa wood plane. The Burton Burger Special. I flew that plane every day, all summer long, until the incident. <laughs> Well, so much for the Burton Burger Special. Have you guys seen Mr. Cat? We're gonna play Beach Blanket Backyard. Sweetie, he's probably taking a nap somewhere. If he knows what's good for him. Hey, Coop, what do you say we put the chopper through its paces, huh? All right! Honey, he'll turn up. <laughs> Watch this, Dennis. Old Lady Munson's gnomes will never know what hit them. <gasps> Danger, Coop! Danger! That's restricted airspace. Aw, Old Lady Munson can't get up my helicopter if it's flying. Never, ever underestimate Old Lady Munson. Crisis averted. <laughs> Let's see what this baby's really made of. Now that's a first-class seat. Look! 
the chopper's okay! Yay! It's not responding to the controls! For no man's land! Goodbye, guys, Petunia! Just wait till I get my hands on you! Don't let me die! Gotcha! Not again! Gotcha! The Burton Burger Special! Whatever you call it, Burger, you're never going to see it again! No! I'd have thought you'd learned your lesson, Burgers. If a toy lands in my yard, it stays in my yard! Hi, Billy! Hi, Mrs. Munson! Say goodbye to the helicopter forever, son. <laughs> Dennis, I'm gonna get my helicopter and Dad's Burton Burger special back, and you're gonna help me. <laughs> Again? Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Millie. Hello. Did you want your birdie back? Yes, please, Mrs. Munson. Check it out. The response time is exactly 17 seconds every time. Okay, one more time. Could you please try to keep the birdie in our yard? <gasps> That's it! Game over! <laughs> You. Well, keep your eye on the birdie as it goes bye bye forever. Coop! Coop! Yes! There you are, Mr. Cat. Let's go play something better than Miss the Birdie. Ah. There! That ought to keep all the little pests away! All but one. Coo! Time for bed! Coming, Dad! Ready to roll? Yeah, but first, we take care of the motion sensor. Nice shot. Let's go. Wait, what's with these gnomes' creepy eyes? Ah! Laser alarm maze. Whoa, she's pretty high tech for a crotchety old fossil. Sucking the fun out of people's lives forever. Look at that. It's got to be at least 20 years old. <gasps> My chopper. Come on. We only have 17 seconds before Old Lady Brunson and Growler arrive. There's no way I'm leaving here without Dad's Burton Burger special. <gasps> there it is, by the fireworks. Three, two, one. War toast. Fabulous! Come on, come on, whoever you are! Oh, what's going on? All I know is I pity the person who broke into old Lady Munson's shed. Daddy, it's Coop and Dennis! What? Run, boys! For the love of all that is good in this world! Run! 
Rachel coming? My chopper can't take both of us. I'll send it back for me. Burtonburger, this is for you. <gasps> My Burtonburger special. That's it. Come to Papa. Oh, hey! <laughs> what? Oh man! <laughs> it's time for the Burtonburger special to fly again. <laughs> Son. But I blew up the Burton Burger special. Well, at least it went out in a blaze of glory. And you gave back to the townspeople a little bit of their own childhood. You're like a vengeful Santa Claus. Not that I condone that behavior. Kids, get down here right away! Coopsie in trouble! I didn't plug up the toilet! Those ping pong balls weren't mine! The toilet is plugged up? Uh, uh, never mind. Good. On to more important things. The Bootsville Parade's coming up, and this year I'm going to build the best float this town's ever seen. Hmm. Here, Dad. If I can get this float on the front page of the Bootsville Bugle, everybody will be talking about the House of Swap. Coop, you're old enough for some extra responsibility, so... You mean I get to help? All right! <laughs> We're building a float! Daddy, I want to help, too. If I just qualified, there's no way you're old enough, Millie. Yes, yes! You could be my special assistant! Goody! <sighs> this year's parade theme is Way Out Outer Space. Hmm. Behold the future! Cool! Neato! So, the future needs a little work. Okay, maybe a lot of work. I won't let you down, Dad. Good to hear, Coop, because the House of Swap float has to be unbeatable. We've got a lot of serious competition this year. Plan them closer together, Humphrey! Iris, straighten those antennae! The Garden Home Appreciation Club needs a float that's out of this world! We're sure to win. Hi, Dennis. I see your dad's internet cafe and small appliance repair shop is going with its usual entry. Well, the Mousemobile is a classic. And best of all, this year it's wireless. <laughs> well, we could sure use a hand with the House of Swap float. Like with tools and everything? Cool! What you got there, Millie? Cosmic popping candy. Want some, Daddy? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Hey, Burtonburger! What's that rusty bucket of bolts supposed to be? It's a UFO, Mrs. Munson. An unidentified float object, that is. <laughs> get it? Ha! You think that'll get on the front page of the Bootsville Bugle? Not when they get a load of the Garden Gnome Appreciation Club's float. Are we gonna let her gnome take our front page away? No! Let's get started. Tomorrow, who's for ice cream? Oh, yeah, me, 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 me. Me.
No stick pan sticking all of a sudden. Uh, this one, too. That's weird. Now that's a fried egg. Coop, do you have any idea what happened to the no stick pans and the fire extinguisher? I don't know, Dad. Daddy, someone took my popping candy. Don't look at me. That stuff makes my mouth numb. Well, nothing else better go missing, or that'll be the end of helping with the float. Can I still work on it, even if Coop can't? <laughs> you guys get started on painting the side panels, and I'll do the... <gasps> wow, she's a beauty. Whoa, that's some tough wallpaper paste. Hey, someone left the trunk open. Cat, you did this. <laughs> Boys, if you painted this float overnight to surprise me, you've done a bang-up job! Uh, thanks, Dad. But I still don't want you taking things without permission. Got it, Dad! I don't know what Cat is up to, but we gotta keep him away from this float. What we need is Dennis's patented ultra-secure security system. Now that's an alarm. And with us standing guard, Cat will never lay another paw on Dad's saucer. Good plan! No sign of cat yet. Ready? Switch! Dennis! The saucer alarm! <laughs> hey! The alarm's not on the saucer anymore! And where's it coming from? The mouse mobile? It's a diversion! Back to the saucer! <laughs> Everything looks okay. Hurry up, kids! We're taking this baby for a test drive before we register. <laughs> Lord, look! It's an intergalactic geekathon! Yeah! Now we have proof there are nerds in space! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've run out of gas. Put the pedal to the metal, Humphrey! I need to get down to the park by noon to register! By noon? We're late! Boys, watch the float while Millie and I get gas. I'm Daddy's special assistant! <laughs> Here's to the House of Swaps UFO float and getting on the front page of the Bootsville Bugle. <laughs> Dad back already? <gasps> Dad's not driving! It's Cat! <laughs> Try to hold it steady! <laughs>
to register our flux. Last year's float. Huh? Mr. Cat, you're okay. Goop, I told you boys to wait. I got here as fast as I could. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow an act like that. You win, but I'll beat you next year. We'll deal with this later, Coop. Right now, we need to fix this float in a flash. Grab the spare tire and jack from the trunk. Sure, Dad. Best float ever. Uh, who made it? House of Swan. If they can build a float like that, their junk must be amazing. <laughs> cat food? Yarn balls? Luggage? Coop, I don't think Cat was attacking Bookesville. I think he was trying to get home, wherever that is. You mean I was almost rid of him? No! There's no way he's a mummy cat, but he could be a vampire cat. He's got the fangs. Last week, you thought he was a leprechaun cat. It was a reasonable theory. I'll bet anything Cat will try to ruin our sleepover tonight. There he is! I'm going after him! Maybe he's a Hydra cat. Oh, wait. He's only got one head. Or does he? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Corn dog to double pounder. Come in, double pounder. Cat's really up to something weird this time. Over. Really? What's he doing? No way! I think Cat is sucking power from the moon. But why? From the moon? Yeah. I gotta stop him. No way! Don't go near him! to the taste. I'm telling you, I'm not turning into... Hey, where'd all my cars and action figures go? Yarn? Wind up mice? Someone's playing a trick, and I know who! It's you! You must have done it in your sleep. The cat side of your brain is taking over already. Pretty soon, you'll be 100% werecat! cat! That's crazy! Crazy like a cat! <laughs> 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 kidding, kidding, I'm just kidding. Need more proof? Here you go. Aren't these old pop-up books? Shh! It's 
sorry. Your evidence is a pop-up book. These books are meticulously researched. Besides, we don't have time to actually read anything. Look, the moon rises. Well, he's a werecat. Here's the werecat attacking his best friend. Cat boy! Everyone knows werecats were virtually eliminated by were-dogs in the 80s. Yeah, we saw it on Gassy Graves' Monster Mania Inania show. And the Loch Ness Monster is now a lifeguard at a top-secret government water park. You don't say. Oh, your breath is toxic. Yeah, and it stinks, too. Oh, that's because Coop ate cat kibble for breakfast. <laughs> that's weird, even for you, Burton Burger. Yeah, everyone knows that dog food tastes better. And here's the little cat eating what's left of his best friend the next day as leftovers. <laughs> okay, maybe we should play it safe. Yeah. <sighs> That should hold you. Werewolves hate silver and wolfsbane leaves, so I've got my mom's silver spoons, and I picked a bunch of pussy willows. That should be good for your particular condition. And when the change happens? If the change happens! I'll call animal control. They'll spay or neuter you or whatever it is they do to craze cats. Good night. Okay. Good night. I told you, Coop! You become a werecat! No! Ah! No! 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 I'm not a werecat! Let me out! Ah! Stand back! I got spoons, and I'm not afraid to use them! Ow, ow, ow. See? They hurt because they're silver! We're cad! Oh, they hurt because they're spoons! What? Look! False teeth and cat glued hair all over me! It's all fake! <sighs> Back off, we're cat! Or I'll use the pussy willows! Dennis! Just calm down! Get back, fiend! Yeah! <gasps> Dennis, wait! Sorry, Coop! I've got to get help before you decide to have me for a midnight snack! What's going on in here? Uh, I may have a book that covers this. I'll go get it and we'll have ourselves an excruciatingly uncomfortable talk. Uh, couldn't it wait until morning? Right you are, sport. Pair today, talk tomorrow and all that. Good night. Coop better have turned into a full-fledged werecat, Dennis, or you're both gonna be nerd soup. Yeah, with crackers. <gasps> there he is! <laughs> See? I told you so! <gasps> Guys? Guys? <laughs> Dennis, you've got to believe me, I'm not a werecat! Tell that to your hairdresser. Cat has no hair. If he's a werecat, how come I'm so hairy? Uh, maybe he's got a werecat pattern baldness? No, this whole werecat thing is a distraction. Cat wants us out of the way while he pulls off uh, whatever he's pulling off. See, he's already started. Come on. I'd feel better if I had more spoons. <laughs> Look, I don't want to say I told you so, so I'll just say I could say I told you so if I wanted to. Fishy frisky bits? Wish I had one of those to clean my room. Me too. What do you think he's up to? I don't know. I gotta stop him!
excitement for one weekend. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Dennis! Dump the beard, huh? Yeah, it wasn't really me. Well, all the same, I think it's time we had a man-to-man -man talk. <clears throat> You're going to be a man soon, and your body's undergoing many, many changes. Oh. Now pay attention, sport. This is important stuff. <clears throat> Hair will soon start growing all over you, <laughs> and you may notice your clothes. All eyes are on Coop Burtonberger as he attempts a new world record. Dead drunk. <laughs> a little focus, please, Dennis. I have an important jump to make. All set, Coop. I don't know who wrecked my jump, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> you! Scoop, it's getting dark. Bedtime! Uh, coming, Dad! Could you please make sure Cat makes it home, too? Oh, I'll make sure. You messed up my jump, and now I'm gonna mess you up, Cat! Uh, ah! Roadhog! <laughs> Is that kid? Go! No time, Dad. Yeah. Gotta lock up. Cat's inside. <laughs> the upstairs window. <laughs> Too slow. Get downstairs. Oh, well, as long as he's safe and sound. Nighty night! I <laughs> <sighs> guess you'll just have to stay outside with the other cats tonight. like a fresh paper in the morning. Yeah! What? What is it? Cat's evil. I have proof. Coop left Mr. Cat outside all night, and now he's all shivery. <laughs> it's an act. Billy's cat is training a cat army to attack me. Look. Ah, uh, 
Uh, Coop, why is your underwear in the yard? But they were a lot meaner before with the claws and the hissing and... Never mind. Ooh, more kitties! Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Cat is more than enough feline for this household. Shoot, Cat, go! 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 go. Hmm. Cat does look a bit off, doesn't he? He always looks like that. We should make it up to Mr. Cat Daddy. We should buy him a new toy with Coop's allowance. He sure goes through them fast, but I might have found just the thing at the House of Swap the other day. Aha! Ta-da! Ooh, Mr. Cat will love it! Look! Well, just don't let him destroy it too soon. Mr. Cat, play with your mouth! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> See ya! Just ignore him, Mr. Cat. Hey, look! I made you a cowboy star outfit for our hoedown later! Now all you need is a lasso. I'll be right back! about a few cats hanging around, watching. It's locked too. Mention, my laser pointer's batteries are almost... 
dead. Oh. Plan B! Quick! Pillow me! from my socks. Oh, perfect. Drop your feet, quick. Oh, oh, hey, who gives? Uh-oh. Look, I'll create a diversion, and you crawl out the window and tell the world our story. No way. I'm not leaving you behind. Toothpaste, toilet paper. Miss Grandma. She would have wanted us to beat these evil fur balls, Dennis. Get in the top. <laughs> Hit it, Dennis. <laughs> you look sad, Mr. Cat. You need some playtime with your favorite mouse. <laughs> Looking for these. <laughs> Yay, Mr. Cat, you're a prima ballerina. You sure are, Cat. Come on, Dennis. I bet I can make that jump now that Mr. Cat is all tied up. about that collar. You'll never get it working again. Dad! I'm going over to Dennis's! Don't be too late, Coop! I've got that big swap meet today, so I'm getting us a babysitter. I hope. Oh, hello, Dahlia? Can you babysit tonight? A bad hair coloring accident? No. Oh, okay. Huh? Who left a fire hose lying around? Oh, you can't, Tina? A flood? Well, I live three doors down. I'm sure I would have noticed a flood. That's the lamest excuse I've heard all day. So, Dad, got a babysitter yet? <laughs> Mrs. Munson, could you babysit the kids today? Pretty please? Nah. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so sorry, pal. Okay, goodbye. Love ya. Who's in charge now? <sighs> well, at least the water's not very <laughs> deep. <laughs> hmm. What's Cat up to? Better find out before he gets me in even more trouble. What the? <laughs> 
Santa. Weird. Chili pictures <laughs> and get to work. <laughs> Gnomes don't glue themselves, you know. <laughs> there you are, Mr. Cup. Mrs. Munson, it's time to eat our cupcakes. Then let's go. Mm. Mm. Chili breaker licorice whip. You there? Over. Psst. Licorice whip here. Keep it down. Now old lady Munson and Gat are out to get me. If they do get you, can I have your Captain Blastoid mobile moon base? Uh, sure. But they're not gonna get me. I'm striking first. I smell a plant. And I smell something worse. Hmm. <laughs> to get old lady Munson to focus her evil powers on Cat. Mm. Here's one for you, Mr. Ah. Cat. You're spoiling him. Burton Burger, what are you doing out here? I thought such lovely mademoiselles would like some lemonade to go with the cupcakes. You're probably up to something. But I'm so thirsty, I'll take a chance. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> What stinks? I think perhaps it is Monsieur Cat. Ah! Whoa, this kitty is one rotten egg. You're getting a bath right now. But Mr. Cat doesn't like that. <laughs> he sure doesn't. Ah, the sweet yet oh so stinky smell of victory. <laughs> the stench isn't coming off. Nelly, fetch me a still wool brush. Okay, if you say so. Sounds like you're scrubbing that stink off real good. He'd be even cleaner if I could just get this collar off. Pretty strange collar. Must be scrapped from your father's junkyard. Whoa. Why are you just standing there gawking? Don't you have gnomes to fix? Get a move on! I'll take care of Mr. Cat. Yeah, I guess you will. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have nightmares about gnomes for months. Oh, well, the soothing sounds of cat screeches make it all worthwhile. Hey, that's odd. Since when are gnomes wired? Licorice Whip, this is Jawbreaker. You're still alive? Dennis, my plan worked. All I have to do now is sit back and watch as my two mortal enemies destroy each other. <laughs> but won't you get brave if something bad happens to old lady Munson? You always do. <laughs> <laughs> it's all his fault. No, no, no! Oh, I gotta save old lady Munson. Oh, don't be mad, Mr. Cat. Now you smell all pretty and nice. I'll get the softest towel we have. Wow. <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> It lights up when you touch it. Burton Burger! I'm sorry. Not another word. Just fix that towel bar. So dusty. And right after your bath. Okay, honey, it's bedtime. I'll read you a bedtime story if your cuckoo brother can behave. Yay! <laughs> oh, there, there, Mr. Cat. You had a hard day, but it's sleeping time now. There. What's that? 
And so the ogre ate the horrible neighborhood boy with the obsession for vandalism. And the sweet princess... Ah! Percy Tumblepants! How did you get here? You should be standing guard by my petunias! Ah! Old Lady Watson, look out! Bye-bye, Archie. Who left a fire hose lying around? Is that a rocking chair? And my gnome! And my beauty sleep. Now you've gone and done it! No, you've done it, old lady. Er, Mrs. Munson. Thank you so much for looking after the kids. You must be awfully tired. Not that you look tired. You don't look a day over 200. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, not that old thing again. Mr. Cat, you don't need that old collar. I made you a licorice one and only nibbled it a little. It's the perfect collar, Millie. Is there a reason you're still in what's left of my room? Good night, Mr. Cat. Ahem. Major destruction! Corporal Chaos to major destruction! Dennis, it sounds like you're right here! That's because I'm radioing you with my Captain Blastroid Big Bang Bubble Blowing Helmet! It's the latest thing! Everybody has one! All I've got is my lame old walkie talkie. Hear that, Harley? Hoop Nerd Parker still uses his walkie talkie. <laughs> yeah, Lauren, what a loser. Hey, I think my helmet's picking up FM radio from Tokyo. Ha! Loser! No helmet! Everybody does have one! I gotta get a Captain Blasteroid helmet! Uh uh, still nothing, Dad. Dad! 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 Look! Coop, if you're gonna ask me for yet another latest and greatest toy, you can forget it. But, Dad... It's time you learn to value the simpler things, like free TV. Perfect, Daddy. Action. Hold it Comes there. everything you see here. Oh. Dennis, Operation Bubble Trouble is a bust. <gasps> oh, man, really? That's too bad, Coop, because the helmet is so super duper crazy cool. I mean, there's really cool, and then there's this helmet. It's all the charge for us. Dennis, I think we may have a... Condition cat. Cat's sucking all the power out of Bootsville. Do you think he's making a giant energy vortex? All I know for sure is Cat must be stopped. Ow! Burgers were behind this. You blacked out the whole town and ruined my yard. It wasn't me. It was the cat. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cat. I know you'd never do anything naughty. <laughs> Mrs. Munson, I want to pay for the damage. Any item in the House of Swap is yours. I entered my yard in Norman Garden TV's Bestest Vast Yard Contest. 
The judge is coming in two days. Nothing from your house of junk can make up for that. Uh, I can fix your yard, old lady. Uh, Mrs. Munson? Really? Oh, well, it's not like I have a choice. You start first thing in the morning! Dennis! I need you to help me fix old Lady Munson's yard! Me? Enter the den of the dragon lady? Uh... You're breaking up! Dennis! If I get Dad in a good mood again, maybe he'll get me a Captain Blasteroid helmet! Oh! Roger that! Corporal Chaos will be reporting for duty! Just a few more to go, Dennis. Good. These things creep me out. Their eyes follow me wherever I go. The Noma Garden TV judge is a stickler for a well-weeded garden. So follow this guide to the letter, or you'll be sorry. Ow! Who wants lemonade and cookies? Oh, I, I do! I do! I do. Nice to see you boys working so hard. I learned to work hard from Captain Blasteroid! A wonderful positive influence on impressionable young kids like us. So is fresh air and sunshine. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right. Now what weeds need pulling? Oh, these are the ones. Stop! You're pulling up my prize for two years! Just mow the grass and leave my garden alone. Make it an even cut. I'll be measuring. one spiffy-looking yard. I'm proud of you, boys. Although this Captain Blasteroid mural you painted is a bit much. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. Yeah. But you still need to water the grass tomorrow to make it dewy fresh for the judge. Now you stay put while I go get some yummy hospital food. shows up. We are not giving up, Dennis. Aha! All right! This is working, group. Come from. We 
Be cat! How'd he find us? <laughs> The bubbles! Hey, that gives me an idea. Fooled <laughs> 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 ya, you hairless freak! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is for my Captain Flash White helmet! <laughs> Mr. Mulch? There you are, Mr. Cap. Come back to the hospital. You have yellow fever. <laughs> Bat Ooh, this is the most original yard I've seen all day. You like it? If I had to look at one more finely manicured lord with the same red-hatted gnomes, Mrs. Mutson, I award you first place. Rest easy, Captain Blastroid Helmet. You served us well. Dennis, Coop, I'm impressed. You made things right with old Lady Munson. I think you've earned these. <laughs> Major destruction? Ah! No! Burger No, Nerd and Burger. It's us and our new Captain Blasteroid goo shooting gloves. Everybody's got them. Dad! <laughs>